didn't mean that. Nowadays, we have, like, I don't know the exact number, but it's got to be in, like, the thousands, right, of what? satellites orbiting oh, Earth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because... What, I mean, uh, Starlink, with Elon Musk's program, yeah. I think it meant to release, it meant to launch, like, a thousand microsatellites. Yeah. And if, like, it's hard to really imagine because of the scale of the Earth, of course. But mm-hmm. when you think of, like, oh, there are thousands of satellites orbiting the Earth. Mm-hmm. Like, how come they don't crash into each other? <laughs> so <laughs> the, the answer to that is because, of course, there are different kind of altitudes when you mm-hmm. orbit. There's, like, the low orbit and there's higher orbits. Low Earth orbit. Yeah, higher Earth orbits, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And, and so the actual, like, distance, like, the average separation between the satellites is absolutely incredible. And the odds it's, that it's they do huge. hit each other it's huge. is... The odds that they hit each other is very minute. <laughs> but again, it's not. that's not even the biggest difference, though. The biggest difference between all these satellites aren't really the distance from Earth, but it's also the angle. Because all of these satellites have so many different orbital inclinations. Like, you know, because if you think about it, there's a, there's a whole 180 degrees of orbital, or technically 90 if you think about it, because... No, there's mm-hmm. no, there's a whole 180 actually. Yeah, there's a whole 180 degrees of or of inclination that you have to choose from. The ISS, okay, I mean I don't know this at the back of my hand, but like the ISS obviously runs at a certain inclination, and for its whole life until it, cor- I mean unless it corrects itself, it's going to be continuing in that same inclination. So a big part of why these satellites don't hit each other is also because. They're not only so far away, but their inc- like their orbits are nowhere similar, because people mm-hmm. think like that satellites are only in like these circular disks outside of Earth. That is that is not true, because again, there is a whole three dimensions that you guys probably didn't think of. <laughs> so that that whole that whole other dimension, those two dimensions, are fully able to you know control the inclination. So it's mm-hmm. the inclination that also plays a pretty big role in. And why satellites don't hit each other every day. And of course, when you put a satellite into space, like you, you already know like exactly where you're putting it. And you know like where you put it is going to be safe. And it's not going to just randomly knock into another one. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you plan exactly. these things out. You, you, you don't just throw it into space and mm-hmm. you just hope it stays up there. Also, usually when you want to get anything into space, you can't just get it into space. Like you need to obviously mm-hmm. have certain... I believe, especially for outer space, like if you want to put something there, you need obviously like, you know, federal permission and everything. Like SpaceX also, if you think about it, didn't really just launch their first rocket without without saying anything to anyone, right? Like they had to Mm -hmm. have made everyone know that, hey, listen, we're putting something in the air. Sorry? Is that actually illegal to just go to space? I'm pretty sure you can't. What if I made my rocket and go and went to space? I think putting something there. Because I still think a lot of it is like not owned, but I think controlled by governments. Because like you know they're all satellites, they're but that's defense. That's bullshit, sa- though. <laughs> okay, I mean to be honest, like I I could like, be wrong. Like, with what this. if it's I just made that- a rocket and went to space? Like, what if, I mean that's what, what our are flat they earther do? tried to do actually to prove that the Earth was flat. That's <laughs> you failed oh, that's miserably. Funny. That's but, funny. Like, yeah, that's, that's a funny story.